this week I went to go see one of my most anticipated movies of the year. No, not Fantastic Beasts. No, not the new Star Wars movie. Not a single big blockbuster. This week I went to go see Manchester by the Sea. If you could take one guy to an island with you and you knew you'd be safe because he was the best man, he was going to keep you happy, if it was between me and your father, who would you take? My daddy. I don't think you're wrong about that. Hello, this is Lee. Starring Casey Affleck, Kyle Chandler, Lucas Hedges, and Michelle Williams, and written and directed by Kenneth Lonergan, Manchester by the Sea is about a poor custodian who must take care of his nephew after the boy's father dies. The movie was fantastic in every sense of the word. Everything it did was near perfect, and the movie is one of the best of the year by far, being incredibly human and real. And the movie reminded me of a tragedy, because every single minute of the film, your main character, Lee, is just being bombarded with these tragedies and just he has to handle it and it's very difficult and it's um it's very relatable because we've all been in situations where that happens and Casey Affleck was able to just represent this perfectly he doesn't say a lot throughout the whole movie but he's able to display a lot of the emotions thoughts and feelings that he's going through with just you know the minor lines he has the minor monologues and solilo soliloquies that he has scattered throughout but also just through like his looks and his face and how he interacts with the characters it really makes you feel for him and his family and what they're going through and this is also all backed up by the excellent writing of the movie because without such a uh, well-written script that can make you feel for everything that's happening and able to make you connect you know none of these actors would be able to shine and shine they do you don't want to be my guardian? That's fine with me. Not that. It's just the logistics. All my friends are here. I got two girlfriends, and I'm in a band. You're a Janet and Quincy. What the hell do you care where you live? Manchester by the Sea also loved its visual style with the uh, New England poor town. It was able to look very bleak and gray. And, you know, it wasn't a happy time, especially because it was during winter and that was able to back up all the emotions that the characters were feeling that even when they're trying to you know get outside they still see this dark ugly world and it was masterfully shot because it you know it looked gray and bleak but at the same time there was a certain beauty to it beauty to seeing the water and the seagulls and some of the sunlight you know when it hits the water it's many times i felt like its direction that it took was fantastic in that sense Manchester by the Sea is a heartbreaking and human film unlike any I've seen this year or any year before it. Led by great performances and great character work with a tightly written script and an overall emotional and bleak movie, Manchester by the Sea is quite possibly the greatest movie of the year. It defines what it means to feel loss, love, regret, burden, and conflict all masterfully without getting caught up in itself. Believe me when I say Manchester by the Sea is a movie definitely worth checking out in the theater as soon as possible. Would you please just go away? No. Come on, pull it out. It's not a shock. <laughs>